Hi Virgo, welcome back to Ladybug Testimonies. Today will be a general read for, you know, Virgo, just said that. Um, if you would like a personal booking, please hit the description box below. It has all the information that you need to help you get to me or to find me. If you want to look on my journey, you can always go to my Facebook link as well. I have that all there so you could just find out a little about who I am. This is a general reading, so take it as it resonates, please. Please hit the like or you can comment and please subscribe to my channel. If you hit the bell button, you don't have to come and find me. I will most definitely find you. All right. If you need more insight. And of course, Virgo, I've already pulled your reading so we could die down some time so I can get a little bit more information out for you. OK. And Virgos, I see that uh, communication is kind of little all over the place. We are going to head straight into prayer before we start anything because we have to have God here at all times. Right. We need the protection and everything. So let's head straight into prayer, Virgo. We would like to take this time to thank the universe for the, the sun, the moon, the stars, the air, the gifts, the insight for the protection, for the love, for the abundance. We would like to ask the universe for abundance, for love, for protection, for light, for love, for balance. In Jesus' name, amen, we pray. Love and light. Virgos, the energy I get for you is very nervous, very, very nervous. Some of you are very nervous to take a leap of faith. Some of you are in and out of your spirituality and you're really not trusting in the universe, Virgo, right? Okay, so the overall energy, Virgo, was the Six of Swords. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you could just be dealing with getting away from arguing. So, but you're not alone here. Like you and somebody wants to move forward. You either want to move forward with somebody and leave the confusion behind. So like if you're in a relationship, Virgo, you really want to stop arguing. Like you really want to get to a better place here of understanding. You, Some of you are being very creative on how to move forward here. Some of you could be going out to buy some flowers to, you know, just make the mood lighter, you know, uh, trying to have a better conversation here. Could be dealing with a, um, like I said, a Sagittarius. You could also have a Leo somewhere around you or you're trying to work out this really good friendship here. Some of you are really hurt over a friendship or over a Sagittarius or a Leo. You're most definitely um, protecting your words. Take it as it resonates, please. What clarifies the Six of Swords is the Knight of Rods. Yeah, you're just trying to get away from the confusion. There's most definitely a breakthrough here. So, you know, some of you could be having some conversations where things are finally working themselves out. You are being able to move here. Some of you could have been, you know, worried about moving forward here. And now you know that you can move forward. It's like also being released in a sense. The mental conflict, Virgo, here, sun, moon, and rising, is this stability. Could also be a union here. But this is most definitely your foundation, what you've built. A re could be a relationship, could also be twin flame that's bothering you. A twin flame union could be bothering you as well. But it's most definitely dealing with something that you you feel stable. Um, something that you that could have brought that stable feeling to you. It's, it's just really causing you a lot of mental conflict. Or it's just at home. You know, just home could be really chaotic. A relationship could really be chaotic. But like I said, some of you... Um, you know, you want to bring those flowers in. Strength. There's a Leo here. Mm. Somebody, Virgo, is trying to tell the truth. Somebody is trying to tell the truth about a friendship, about a Leo. You could really have a... Uh, a Sagittarius in your chart and your um you could have a Sagittarius in your chart but you could also um be moving away from a Sagittarius and you're being really creative on how to get out of it you, some of you are cheating with the Sagittarius Virgo
it's all surrounding truth though truth and secrets some of you are figuring out a way to tell the truth Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. And like I said, the mental conflict is the stability. The four of cups, yeah. It's most definitely surrounded by your union, your relationship, trying to get back in the home, trying to leave something out here because it's just, it's dead. It, you know, like it's, it's ruined. It's, some of you have been cheating and now it's exposed, right? It's exposed. And you could feel left with nothing. This was what's on your mind. Your home could be empty now. Everything is just a mess. Before the person left, they probably messed everything up too. Clean up though. I mean, just clean up. Okay. I know it's a mess, but clean it up. Yeah, some of you just, the home is a mess. It's just stuff everywhere. Like you really need to clean up. You really need to clean up. This could be bothering you. And that's the reason why you want to leave. Because it's a mess in here. It really is. What's well, on the heart space, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, is the Two of Swords. This is blocking. So you could either feel like somebody is blocking you out. You could feel like communication is blocked. You could feel like a connection is blocked. And like I said, some of you can't get back in the home. Some of you feel blocked and locked out of your home here. But at the same time, it's most definitely taking time out and leaving everybody out. Some of you, the mental conflict is you don't want to go back home. <laughs> you want to run away. You don't want to go back home. It's the two of swords is clarified by the two of rods here. Yeah, somebody doesn't want to end the relationship here, Virgo, but um, somebody is also blocking out seeing things a different way. Somebody just, like somebody just does not want to say that they did this and it's their fault. And they, like, they just don't want to accept it. Somebody does not want to accept you leaving either. Somebody could be trying to block you from leaving as well. You could feel this way, Virgo, sun, moon, and rising that somebody is trying to block you from, from leaving or pursuing a, a, a relationship that you want. Some people have said no to the proposal as well, Virgo. Some people don't want to get married. Some of you don't, not necessarily don't want to accept that somebody you know, is married and now you you know that this relationship is not going to go back into full force because this person is, you know, they don't want to come back. They don't want to change it. They don't want to get out of this relationship here. You can feel blocked though. You can feel like somebody is blocking your relationship as well. You could also be dealing with a, yeah, strong Sagittarius here. Strong Sagittarius. We have it in the energy and we have it on the heart space here. But you most definitely feel like somebody's trying to block your way or block your vision. Or this could be you self-sabotaging. Okay. But Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, what you need to be aware of most definitely what's coming in. We got two cards, right? The Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords, right? Somebody is really worried about telling the truth and being caught. Okay. They don't want to be caught for sure. They don't want these lies to come out for sure. But what you need to be careful about, Virgo, if this isn't you, because this is coming in, it's what you need to be aware of. If Let's say this is you, Virgo. Be aware that you will be caught. You're, 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 you're going to be exposed, Virgo. If this isn't you, Virgo, and this is happening, to, like this is coming towards you, be careful because somebody is really worried about telling you the truth. And they don't want to tell you the truth. They're like really, really, really scared of telling you what really happened, what really went down, who they've been messing with, or, you know... But they're, they're, Virgo, if this is you, if you are having a problem telling the truth, you're, ca you're causing your own anxiety. So it's not even as bad as you think. Okay. Mm. And I'm asking spirit, like, what? If they find out somebody been cheating on them, how is that not? I mean, um. It's like, it's not bad. It's all about, it's not really about what you're going through. It's about how you feel about what you're going through, right? So it's like, if you were the one cheating, right? And you have to confess, you got to tell your, your, your truth here. The person 
might be ready for it. They might be ready for it, baby. There's most definitely a Leo. You need to be careful about a Leo or somebody just trying to gain the strength here. But be careful. We have Sagittarius and we have Leo, baby. Be careful. Somebody is trying to gain up the strength to leave a relationship, though. Be careful with that. Could, like I said, we have strong Leo. It could even be a friendship, though. Somebody just doesn't want to be your friend anymore, either. Somebody also knows that you're a liar, a cheater, a deceiver, a heartbreaker, and they don't want you back in their life. So they take in the house, the cars, the kids, and the, I was going to say the dog, but the cat. And they want it all. Because you're nothing but a... Ooh. They've known for a while, though. They've known for a while. They just didn't want to react on it yet. <laughs> and we ain't going to get into why. But you can always book an in-person appointment. And I can let you know why. But we're not going to get on here why. And the reason why I do hold back certain information is because there's cross watchers and people will try to put your stuff together, try to figure out what you got going on. And that's one thing I do not want. Okay. You ain't got a snoop. Especially if you know already. What are you snooping for when you already know? Anyway, a Virgo sun. We have the lovers here. You are most definitely Virgo Sun. You could be the one leaving a relationship. You could also be the one leaving a relationship to go cheat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. You and this person, Virgo Sun, gets down. Yeah, you going back for it. You go back all the time to this person it doesn't even matter either virgo like you could also be dealing with a um gemini with a scorpio moon here but you go back all the time it's just addicting to you you like it and you are willing to walk out of it some of you are having a little bit difficult time trying to make a decision here because you know you have a family and everything or whatever but you love this Gemini or you love this person a lot. You most definitely love their sex. I tell you that. Like you you pounce to go get it. You don't really care what's in your way. If you want it, you're going to go get it. Like I said, you go see this person a lot. So it's very addicting to you, Virgo. Virgo Moon, we have the Eight of Rods, right? You're moving forward in a very positive way. There could also be some communication coming in, Virgo. But look, it also came out. I don't think I showed y'all. But it also came out in the beware. Be careful. Somebody watching you, baby. Somebody know where you're going. Somebody know who you're talking to. There's too many cards. Yeah, there's a lot going on, though, that's hidden that you don't know. So be careful, <laughs> especially the ones that's sneaking around. If you're sneaking around, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, boo, they know. They know. You need to be careful because they do know. We got the Queen of Cups. Some Okay. So with the Queen of Cups coming out, I do see, I still do see positive movement forward here, but you're, you could either be keeping it to yourself. Or you, you're holding back from moving forward, right? Mm -hmm. You guys could communicate. Or you're holding back communication. You're holding back how you truly feel, I tell you that. crazy sometimes when someone asks you a question virgo moon right y'all could be out having a good time too when this happens right and somebody might ask you like um dang y'all been together for so long 
y'all must really love each other because I even see your pictures on, you know, what, Facebook, Instagram. What is Viva? Whatever that is, it's that's what it be. Anyway, Viva? Anyway, um, yeah, we see your relationship, da, 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 and you're like, <laughs> like you, you might have your drink in your hand. You're like, <laughs> you don't say nothing though. <laughs> you don't say anything. You know, you know, if they got their mind made up that your relationship is good, that's how you gonna keep it. But it, it behind closed doors is lies, it's cheating, it's deception, it's nasty. And not a good mix. I ain't talking about that nasty. I ain't talking about what you doing, Virgo, son. I ain't talking about that kind of nasty. Biting the hands that feed you type. I ain't talking about that kind. I mean, I'm talking about that type of nasty. Biting the hand that feeds you type of nasty. Yeah, um, this person, Virgo Sun, I'm just a telling on you, Virgo Sun. I, but you know what? In a sense, it's supposed to come out because I don't, I don't really tell business here. But you know what? For the past couple of videos, I have been giving it. <laughs> I ain't even lying to you. Like the the videos that I've been doing, like it's been a lot of stuff coming out. But it, I'm, it's probably because of this Scorpio, Scorpio and, and Mercury. It's just time to find out some stuff here. It's just time for the secrets to come out. Come out, baby. Let them secrets flow on out. And here's my whole thing. If you don't want to be with somebody and they have to find out, that's the worst thing ever. Why you ain't just tell the person? I don't know. Maybe everybody ain't got to like me, huh? Because <laughs> I'm going to let you know. I just, I just feel like that's just the best way to communicate. Let the person know what's up. Look, I ain't happy in this. And I don't want to do this no more. And I'm sorry that hurts your feelings. But I don't want to do this anymore. I'm sorry. So I'm going to get my bags and I'm going to go. And I know some people sneak out because they don't want people like stopping them and holding them back. That just shows that you're not ready to take that leap of faith either though. If you and I know this is a Virgo thing, Virgo, you will leave without you will leave. You will leave a notice behind, but you will leave. You will just walk on out of a situation. But my thing is. That is not closure at all, and that will leave a person. Uh, this is what that will cause you just leaving. They're going to have to find out where you at. Right. They're going to have to find where, where is it? Last time I seen him, he was over Nick Nick house. Where he at now? He gone, girl. He told us he wasn't coming back to next summer. What? Mm -hmm. I only told you that your relationship looked good because I wanted to see what you was going to say because he already told us he was leaving. What? Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, Virgo, son, this could be somebody you work with. Somebody you give to, too. You invest in this. And you're working really hard on it, too. You could be working. You could be Virgo. Let's let's step out of the shiesty. Scorpio and Mercury. Jesus. Let's, let's, switch this, let's switch that energy up. Okay. Virgo sun. You could be working. You could be making a decision. You could be making a decision to. You're choosing somebody to work with. You're choosing somebody to commit to. You're choosing somebody. You're you're finally making a decision. Virgo, you could have been out here, you know, dating different people. Please, let's switch it here. Just dating different people or whatever, you know. Mingling, schmingling. You could have been, um, you know, out here doing your thug fizzle, baby. I don't know why that song is still in my head. I guess because the spy card is out here. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Right? <laughs> they are. But you're working really hard. It could just be in the work environment. You're trying to make a decision on what you want to commit to, who you want to commit to. Um, 
if you want to divorce. Anyway, Virgo Moon here. Yeah, you're moving forward. Some of you, <laughs> some of you want to hold back what's really going on, but there's an uh, you will push forward and, and tell the truth, especially when this person says to you, "Oh no, boo, I knew." That he was leaving. I just wanted to see what you going to tell me the truth. And you do. You do eventually. You stand up. You're like, Virgo Moon, it's like you're you're moving forward in a positive way. Be careful, though. Like I said, be careful about this communication. I will be honest. So, like, if somebody came to you, Virgo, and asked you if this hasn't already happened. Some of you has already happened. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. And I guess I'm just here to tell you that uh, you can you you can get through it. You just have to stay strong and stay true to yourself and try to be sober. You know, try to try to do things soberly. Okay. But you will be speaking your truth. You'll come out of this. You'll you'll come out of, because the Queen of Cups is the only card here that's holding in. The other ones are speaking truth and they're action based. So you could be taking action, Virgo Moon, but you're holding back how you feel, right? You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius. Some of you Virgos are moving on because somebody won't open up and express themselves. All right, bye. Girl, I ain't got time to wait on you all day. What you want to do? <laughs> anyway. Virgo rising. We have the Ace of Cups here. This relationship. There's a, um, a relationship here. That is so funny to me. It's funny because this is the Ace of Cups, right? This is a love offer, but for some, for some particular reason, and this is a offer from the universe, a love offer from the universe. The only reason why I don't like the Ace of Cups, it's also in your beware as well. So this relationship, you need to be really careful about this relationship. Somebody could be sneaking out of a relationship and coming to find you, bringing their burdens. They haven't fixed this relationship. They just up and left. So Virgo, if this is you, you need to get this situation together before you move to the next person because the next person uh ain't gonna accept no relationship that's still ongoing i'm trying to tell you they're not and some of you i feel like are gonna lie oh i've been out of that relationship but look at these ace of cups I love that the bird is flying over it. I really do. But it's surrounded by the coffin here. This means like a dead relationship to me. They done threw the, the uh, sheet over it. Somebody also could be lying about moving forward. Anyway. This Ace of Cups. It's see, yeah, I got a little pretty little bird, you know, silly pretty bird. Something could be um coming back around, but it's it's still not honest. It's not honest. In, either way, go either. Let's get back to this real quick before we get too far. This bird is bringing in, but they're about to drop. Even okay, that is beautiful, but to me, that looks like drugs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That looks like drugs. Somebody, be, the most likely outcome, somebody could be uh, tricking you, lying about this cup that they're offered. They're lying about this relationship. Something is not dead. They are. They could be taking you for a, a oh, queen of pentacles. They could be holding back what really happened in the relationship. They could be holding back the what they want to invest like the truth they're holding back how they truly feel virgo virgo rising somebody could be holding back how they truly feel
So the lion could 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 be how is lion a good thing? Lion can <laughs> it could be good because um They just don't want to express themselves fully. I don't know. I got so distracted just now. They could be trying to put things together too, trying to see what goes with what, what, what's this and what's that and how to put it together so they can't offer it or how they're going to offer it. But there's lies. Could be dealing with an Aries as well, Virgo. But somebody is lying about either... This is a relationship and action being taken. Virgo, somebody could be coming to you about a relationship. They want to pursue it now, right? They want to have sex, actually. They want to have sex. They want to bounce, chicka, bounce, bounce, chicka, bounce, bounce. You could be dealing with the water sign with the fire uh, moon. Virgo rising. This is seven of cups in reverse. This person has their mind made up. They don't want that. Okay, hold on. What? You know what I'm getting from this reading, though? I'm getting, like, the, somebody don't know what they want to do. Like, it's not, I want to say it's, like, back and forth, but it's not back and forth. It's just this person just won't get up and take the initiative to do what they're supposed to do. There's success here. There's a new cycle. Okay, that's kind of positive. It's just that what you need to be aware of, though. You, um, Some people just need to tell the truth. That's it. Just tell the truth, okay? And stop lying. Gain the strength to move forward in a positive way. Gain the strength to move in a, a positive way. That's funny. Yeah. That's all. The person's just... they they This person loves somebody. They know this is a new relationship. Time is running out, though. There's action. They want to take action. They want to go out there. You're very passionate. They they could find you very loving. They could find a lot of passion in you. But they don't want this. They don't want it. They're very confused. They done poured out all the cups. They don't got nothing to offer here. I don't even think it was nothing. But they, I mean, they could be sticking to you, though. But. There's a need to heal. There's a need to because it's not complete yet. It's just something that's just not done here. All of it, actually. It's just not done. It's not finished. Something is just not probably the relationship that you're in. You have to end that before you can pursue something else. And you do know that. And that's what's causing the blockage and the confusion and the uncertainty here. Because you got to end something before some before you can start something else, Virgo. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's get the spiritual advice for you. Universe, what's the spiritual advice for Virgo, sun? What's the spiritual advice for Virgo, sun? 
something could be kind of draining though something that you're working on really hard or holding this commitment back could be really draining your pockets because you could be spending on two people be careful about this movement be careful about this communication coming in be careful about somebody spying on you be careful about lying and manipulation here be careful about that be careful about this relationship be careful about this leo and this sagittarius because somebody could be trying to block you Virgo, and you can feel it trust your intuition Virgo sun Or what's ever on your mind, Virgo sun, it's really taking an effect on you, right? And here's the advice for that. Our opinions about our children can influence their behavior. I didn't see any kids here, though. But that's probably what's holding you back is your child, your children, right? The more you see things in your child that you do not want to see, the more of that you will see. And so the behavior that you inflict from your child is more about you than it is about your child. This is actually true of all your of all your relationships. But since you think about your child more than you do of most others, your opinion about your child plays a greater role in its behavior. Hmm. You know what's funny? I don't really know too many virgos yeah i do oh now that i think about it yeah i do universe what's the spiritual advice for virgo moon but i was going to say when i said um what's crazy though i was going to say why would people want to stop me from seeing something because that's what i see Nine times out of ten, I already know. I don't, I don't, me, I don't need this reading. I don't need to, sometimes I will go back and watch my videos. Most of the time I go back and watch my videos. I'm, I'm starting just to watch myself. But I'll go back and I'll watch my videos. And um, most of the time it, I already knew because spirit already, I'm a, I'm a psychic, a tarot reader, a medium. Overall, I'm a light worker. I can travel. I know more than you already think. If you're the Virgo, if you're a Virgo who's watching me and you don't want me to um, know something, nine times out of 10, I already know about you and her. Nine times out of 10, I already know about you and him. Nine times out of 10, I already know because spirit then came through and told me. So you can try to come back and lie to this person. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. You can try to come back and lie to this person, Virgo. They already know. They were just going, they were just waiting on you to bring in the information, to bring in the, the leaks. You were you you coming in and um could be me as well helping you Virgos but you somebody coming in and and communicating with you you just waiting on the truth though you you already know you're just waiting to see if they're going to be honest because that's going to dis, that's what's going to help you make your decision now when it comes to your children this card did come out here and it is towards your your some of you don't want to leave so some, some of you don't want to leave based upon your children Virgo son you you have invested this time in this relationship because you've created a family but you're most definitely in love with someone else Virgo moon you are most definitely protected it's time to make sure your mind body and soul is on one accord okay people oh i I can attract relationships that agree with my desires. Okay. People are not finding it difficult to find the mate of their dreams because of that, because that person is not out there, but because of their own contradiction to their own desire and the thoughts they offer about the subject every day. When you constantly offer thoughts about your future relationship that feel good while you think them, that means you are constantly matching the desires that you have discovered as you have lived life. And under those conditions, only someone in agreement with your desires could come to you. That's a twin flame. That's twin flame energy. 
Someone who is going to match you is going to come in, but you have to keep your thoughts positive. You most definitely have to keep positive, keep moving positive, keep saying positive things here, right? Because this could be your downfall. The, the more negative you are, the more you'll hold yourself back. Universe, what's the spiritual advice for Virgo rising? Oh, there is a spiritual journal in here. But you need to be aware. You need to tell the truth and clear out your mind, clear out your mental space because it's in the beware. This action is, you need to be careful about this action too. This travel, what you're doing. Spirit be cutting up. It's time to pray, Virgo Rising. It's time to pray. But you are at the right place at the right time. But one thing I also know about 222, keep your thoughts positive because there's a transition coming in. 222 to me is like fit 555. 555 is most definitely, you know, towards your finances and stuff like that. But 222 is, I always say, keep your thoughts positive because there's a transition coming within your life, within your belief, within all of that, okay? There are things in your environment that you believe that match what you want, and there are all kinds of things in your environment that you believe that defy what you want. How would you ever sort them out? How do you know the active beliefs within you that serve you well and the active beliefs that do not serve you? How do you know the beneficial beliefs from the detrimental ones the beneficial beliefs feel better when you think them the detrimental ones feel worse when you think them that's how you can tell the difference listen speak use your mental beneficial beliefs feel better when i think them Whoa. I ain't even getting no Capricorn card, but I just keep on hearing spirit. Anyway, so Virgo, I am keeping the keys in the channel. They want me to continue to use their number card. So I am using the keys Ralph deck. Right? To pull you out some numerology. Universe, what's the spiritual advice for Virgo sign? Whoa. It's most definitely, you most definitely need to be careful about, could be an earth sign. But you need to uh, release. You need to most definitely release whatever you're holding on because you could be holding on to something and it's causing you more pain than it is making you happy here for sure. It could be an earth sign, could be a um, Gemini, could be a Sagittarius. But it's most definitely surrounded by what you've built, something that you feel like you've just finished, you've created here, something really sweet to you. You know, you just don't want to give that up or you want to give it up. Either way it goes, there has to be some detachment here, okay? There's a need to... Um, go with the flow. Hmm. Change the change your perspective about things, okay? Virgo, this video is getting longer and longer. Virgo Moon, numerology for you. You're protected. You getting the same numbers all over again. You're protected, okay? The, Open up and express yourself. If you're mad, say that. If you're happy, say that. If you if you are frustrated, say that. Okay, because I do feel like some of you are frustrated. Could be frustrated with the water sign. You most definitely want to let something go, though. But be careful. Be careful. Ooh, be careful. Okay. Make them laugh. Make them laugh, Virgo. 
or they will kill you. That's a quote. Who says that? I think it's fire too. Virgo rising. Y'all got the same cards. This is very, 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 very important. It's time to laugh. It's time to enjoy yourself, Virgo rising, because you have to make a decision. And it's going to be based off of, uh, is this a relationship here? But you need to be careful and make sure you're not, you're not taking like people with you that don't mean you no good, right? Because this could be causing confusion here. Confusion. At its best. Yeah, it's time to open up and express yourself for sure. Look, this is very important. You could have an earth sign. You could have a Capricorn towards Virgo, a child here, but you could be in a relationship or, or dealing with the Gemini and a Scorpio here. But foundation, this mental con conflict is on your mind. You don't want to lose your children. You really don't here. And Virgo, moon. You're protected, but you most definitely have to work on your emotions. Work, make sure you're you are in aligned with yourself, how you feel, what you want to say, what do you think here? Who is in charge here, Virgo Moon? Is it God or is it you? Do you trust in the universe or do you trust in what everybody else think and what everybody else got to say? Because you matter, Virgo. You matter. Virgo rising once again. This too, right? Two twenty-two. You are most two. 22 you are most definitely in the right place at the right time you need to open up about this relationship about how you feel about this relationship virgo rising here and trust your intuition and speak your truth and know that beneficial beliefs feel better when i think them keep your pos keep your thoughts positive so the universe can bring in positivity and it can get rid of all this other stuff virgo moon i can attract relationships that agree with my desires our opinion and virgo rising our opinions about our children can influence their behavior so stay positive stay focused make sure you're praying and meditating clearing out those chakras book appointments if you need me please like comment and subscribe to the channel if you need my help i would love to help i'm here for you have a great day